If you have a light sphere, we have this new three uh, dome kit that uh, you can buy as an accessory to modify your lighting. We have, first of all, the power grid for putting on top of your telephoto uh, flash for more power or off camera for a really dramatic effect. We have the amber dome. The amber dome is used in tungsten lighting for your slower exposures to give you a better color balance or also in sunsets uh, to match the color in the front with the rear. And then we have the chrome dome. The chrome dome is used for wedding photographers for shooting large uh, groups and uh, typically really uh, adds quite a bit of power uh, to your group photos with softness. So that's the three dome kit. Now the power grid is uh, something that you can put over any light sphere. Uh, if you have a telephoto lens, what it'll do is it'll take all of the power that is going uh, across your um, outside of the range of your lens and it'll focus it right to the center of a long telephoto, like a two or three hundred. You'll see that uh, on your um, flash, it'll really only zoom out to 105 millimeters. So you can take it and uh, uh, and and extend it. I know that this flash again only zooms into 105 millimeters. So uh, you're going to lose a lot of light uh, in the sides <clears throat> uh, without the uh, this grid that will then direct all the light uh, strongly. Uh, focusing the light strongly toward the center. This gives you a lot more power for uh, images of uh, things far away. <clears throat> the amber dome is used uh, again in situations where if you're in a tungsten lit room, like if you're shooting weddings and you want to mix the uh, flash uh, color in the front so that it matches the rear on auto white balance with kind of a neutral setting. Uh, the light from your strobe typically would be uh, too white and it won't mix well between the tungsten in the background and the foreground. So uh, when you put on the um, amber dome it's great to uh, mix the flash with uh, uh, it instantly warms your flash and makes it uh, much more pleasing and much more invisible uh, in uh, images with a slow exposure. Also, when you're outdoors in an open shade, you'll notice that there's a little bit of a blue cast in the flesh tones, and that's because the uh, color temperature outdoors is a little bit too high, uh, so um, it gives you that little bit of a blue uh, color, a little bit too cool. So when you put the, uh, the amber dome on, look at the difference that you have with the amber dome. It gives you a very, very warm, so uh, when you're outside uh, shooting in sunsets, you can point it straight forward, and get a really nice uh, matching light for the foreground as well as the very warm uh, background of your sunset so that it won't look like um, you're standing in front of a picture of a sunset. It looks like uh, you're actually part of the sunset. <clears throat> so you have instant warmer lighting uh, with the uh, amber dome. Now for wedding photographers, this is called the chrome dome. The chrome dome just uh, fits on top of your light sphere. Uh, any of your light spheres collapsible to or universal and what it does is it sends more power forward because you'll see that it's got a reflective uh, bottom and this little kicker panel back here which will uh, reflect light back down into the bowl and send more light forward for uh, more power and since this is not really a soft type of lighting it's suggested really for wedding photographers uh, in using large group photos uh, it's wonderful for that but um, because the lighting's less soft, it, it will take the light and uh, bring it up much higher over the lens to reduce red eye, but it isn't as soft. So it's just suggested to use when you're shooting group uh, photos. When you need more power, um, just go ahead and uh, put the chrome dome on. So that's the three pieces.